Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We are doing 2019 Topps Heritage Baseball. It's a personal box. One for Brandon. Brandon Luger with a personal box. 2019 Topps Heritage Baseball. Looks like Nick did a few, per two of these personal boxes. Looks like this is box six right here. Did anything, any, people were watching the last couple nights, anything cool? Any big autographs? Or are we still waiting for big hits? The box loader. Adam saying no crazy hits that I can remember. Okay. Although this is this is a set that doesn't necessarily need a crazy hit simply because it's all these variations right here. So this is from cardboardconnection.com. It's all these variations that that really get the big money. If you're interested in, in that secondary market, these throwbacks are the most rare. And even even the even the other ones are pretty hard to hit. Anyhow, Brandon, good luck. And we got two more personal boxes uh, coming up for Ryan and for Eric. So stand by for those. Watching a little basketball as well. Celtics up 93-76 on the Golden State Warriors in Golden State. Crowd seems kind of quiet there. Well, of course, this is a team that could, even without Klay Thompson, could, could easily turn it around. Obviously, all cards will ship. Um... I'll briefly glance through the backs of these cards to see if we can get one of those big shorter printed cards. Sometimes it's not as not as easy to spot um, just by looking at the fronts. The I'm going to also pass by the the base short print, which is card 401 to 500, and ends in that with the serial number. But be sure to double check that. I mean. Brandon, double check anyway, because we, we may miss like a parallel, but everything ships, so you'll be getting all this. I love these inserts here. News flashbacks. Those um, cards numbered 401 and up, those are the most common kind of short prints that we see. I think I really, I've only really seen the action one. And I don't think that the, uh, the there, there's ones that have the English right here and then French underneath it. I don't think I've seen one of those yet, but I'm pretty sure those don't have a different serial number on the back. So you may need to just kind of Visually look at each card. All right, there's your hit. Clubhouse Collection Relic, John Lester. All these card 128 are the, something else. All right, next stack. Celtics went on a 12 0 run to end the third quarter. They're up 105 to 76. Well, 
Well, while we're while we're doing this, folks, we can talk a little baseball. Um, I know fantasy drafts are starting to come up. I know mine's coming up in a couple of weeks for my 16 team 16 team auction keeper league. Uh, I'm not sure who my keepers are going to be, but anyone uh, anyone have any like who's your like favorite sleeper? Sleeper pick? Who do you, who do you think is going to have a breakout season or a comeback season? Who are your sleepers? Obviously the big names Big fancy names. You know, we're going to... Most of us are going to know who to draft, right? If we have that op big name opportunity. But who's going to have a nice bounce back? Be worth chasing. Maybe people who are undervalued, underrepresented. Chris Bryant? He's due for a bounce back. I think he'll still be drafted pretty high though, right? I guess even in an auction... This looks kind of different, doesn't it? Doesn't that look glossy and the rest of it looks more of a matte finish? I don't know what's up with that. We'll save that. I feel like he's too big of a name to to really get there. But comeback-wise, yeah. Chris Bryant struggled with a lot of injuries last season. He should be able to bounce back. I mean, Chris Bryant's ceiling is like MVP caliber, right? Oh, it is different. Okay, so nice. So forget this one. Chris is saying flip stock. Right, yeah, I knew it looked different. See, it's glossy there. Even though the cereal is glossy there, but it's, it's matte on the front. Is there only five? Are you saying it's a train whistle, Chris? There's only five of those in the world of each? Ooh, Adam saying Dustin Pedroia. That could be interesting. Is he healthy? Is he in camp playing? Well, Brandon, I, I have not corrobor corrobor corroborated, corroborated this yet, but uh, Chris, Chris Noteson is saying that this, there's only five. These are very short print. Only five of these of each that exist in the world. So all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I'd imagine these are pretty short printed. It could be pretty big value too. Look at that, Brandon. Got a hat too. All right, last stack and then the box topper. So Adam's saying, yeah, so Pedroy is set to play. If he's healthy, not too bad of a late pickup. I agree. That could be interesting. Got the uh, play baseball scratch off. That's Goldschmidt. <laughs> yes, that is true. Rick, Rick Barker says, there's only one of me in the world. You are especial, that is for sure. Hip. Hip, Lincoln. Yeah, you can't retract it. I already saw it. You can't retract it. You said hip. No, hey, Lincoln, what's going on? All right, well, that's that. But that out of five, Danny Duffy is pretty nice. Not serial number, but short print of that, according to Chris. 
All right, now we've got Super Baseball. Super, super, super. Let's see what we got here. What, what is that super all about? What do we got here? Huh? Ooh, hey. We've got, yes, Carl Yastrzemski on a super car with his facsimile autograph right there. Nice, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, there you go. Brand Luger with that box of heritage. Nice. Thanks for getting into it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time for the next one on jazbeescasebreaks.com.